Now that we've introduced what the magic formula is and shown at least in one instance where it can be useful, it's worth actually going through and proving to yourself that the magic formula does in fact hold true. And so just to write out what that magic formula is again, right? so we're trying to take the time derivative of a vector uh, that's expressed in terms of the unit vectors of frame V, but we want to take the time derivative in frame A. And so that's equal to the time derivative in frame B of vector V plus the cross product of the angular velocity of frame B in frame A with that vector V. So this here is our magic formula, and this is what we're going to show is true. So first, let's just simply draw a picture of this. So we have our two reference frames. We have frame A and our two unit vectors, A1 and A2. And then we have our second frame, B. B1 and B2, and B1 is rotated with respect to um, frame A and by a, an angle of theta. And in this space, we have some vector, which we're going to call V, right? And V is expressed in terms of uh, the unit vectors B1 and B2. So you can write this out and say that, we'll just keep it very general, so um, we'll say that it has some magnitude in the B1 uh, direction, and then obviously some magnitude in the B2 direction. So this is um, how we're going to write out our vector V. All right, so if we take the right side of this equation, so this here, and now let's actually calculate what the uh, derivative of our vector v is in frame a. So again, that's d d t of u v1 plus v b2 in frame a. And we're going to now replace B1 and B2, and we're going to write each of these uh, B1 and B2 unit vectors in terms of A1. So we're going to put everything in terms of A1 here. So if you remember back, we know the relationship between uh, the unit vectors of frame B and the unit vectors of frame A are as follows. We have cosine theta, sine theta, negative sine theta, and cosine theta. And that's for A1 and A2. All right, so we're just going to plug these in. So we can say now that A, or dt dt in frame A of V is equal to A ddt of u multiplied by cosine theta a1 plus sine theta a2 plus v with negative sine theta a1 plus cosine theta a2. And now we can simply uh, factor this u and these v term out. And then we'll just simply rewrite this as Oops. ADT of V equal to 
to ddt in frame a of u cosine theta minus v sine theta a1 plus u sine theta plus v cosine theta a2. And so I'm just regrouping some terms here just to make it easier. All right, so now let's actually like take this derivative. So we have um, u dot cosine theta minus u theta dot sine theta minus v dot sine theta minus v theta dot cosine of theta all of a1 plus now the a2 term so we have u dot sine of theta plus u theta dot cosine of theta plus v dot cosine of theta minus v theta dot sine of theta a2. So next we're going to rewrite this and we're going to group our terms so that we can actually transform this back and rewrite this in terms of unit vectors of B1. So for example, we're going to take this here and just again simply rearrange terms such that we get u dot cosine theta a1 plus sine theta a2 plus u uh, theta dot negative sine theta a1 plus cosine theta a2 plus v dot negative sine theta a1 plus cosine theta a2 minus v theta dot cosine theta a1 plus sine theta a2. And so this term right here is the same as this relationship here that you have. So now we can rewrite Sorry, that should be a V. Uh, so now we can rewrite this a V uh, in terms of B1 and B2. Right, so cosine theta A1 plus sine theta A2 is equal to B1. And then I can, this term here is equal to B2. So I can write U theta dot b2 and then this term here is e also equal to b2 so plus v dot b2 minus and then this term again here is equal to b1 so we have v theta dot 
B1. So now we've written or taken our uh, derivative of our vector V that was originally expressed in unit vectors of frame V. We rewrote them in frame A uh, using the unit vectors of frame A, did the derivation, and then transformed everything back into the unit vectors of frame B. So just so you followed along. So now let's look at the left side of our um, magic formula equation. Okay, so we have um, the time derivative of our vector v in frame b plus the cross product of the angular velocity of frame b in frame a with that vector v. So we write this out. We have ddt in frame b of u v1 plus v v2 plus our angular velocity cross product with u v1 plus v v2. So if we write this out, uh, this first derivative term gives us u dot v1 plus v dot B2. This angular velocity, so the angular velocity of frame B in frame A is equal to theta dot B3. Again, that we went over that in a prior video. And so we take the cross product of that with U B1 plus V B2. And then again, we write, rewrite these terms out. Okay, and so now we can write this term here as we have the cross product. So we have, oops, that's too small. We have theta dot u multiplied by the cross product of B3 and B1 plus U time, oops, sorry, that's a V. So plus theta dot V B3 B2. Again, we'll just keep chugging this along. So you should remember um, that the cross product of two vectors gives you the vector that is perpendicular to both of those vectors. So here we have B3 uh, the cross product of B3 and B1, so that's actually B2. So we can write theta dot uh, U B2. And then we have theta dot V, and then the cross product of um, B3 and B2 is actually a negative A negative B1. So I can just, this is what we get here. And so if you'll notice that this here, so in this box here, is equal, right? It's the same thing we got when we uh, calculated the left side of the equation, right? 
So first we looked at, okay, well, what happens if we calculate, uh, calculate D, dt of v in frame A, and we went through that first process, and that gave us this here. Then we went and said, all right, what if we calculate this out, so the right-hand side, and we got this, and the fact that they both match, uh, again, just demonstrates that the magic formula uh, does, in fact, hold true. And so with that, uh, we're going to go through uh, top to bottom of, an exam of the example of the spider moving on a Roomba, and we're just going to use the magic formula. And I'll show you how the magic formula essentially makes it worth using multiple reference frames.